This episode is brought to you by GoDaddy.com. Hey, we need some competition. Go out and create your own video show, spirit review blog. Just get your domain at GoDaddy.com. Use code EDDR3 and your .com domains will be $7.49. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. Today, we're going to create the chocolate raspberry martini. The way we're going to do that is with raspberry vodka. Here. This is Smirnoff vodka. Smirnoff. Smirnoff. And... Not sh... Right, not Smirnoff. Smirnoff. We're going to use some Lord's creme de coco here. Look at that. Or cacao, or however you say it. And I chose clear because the recipe I saw this... I found this on recipetips.com. And the recipe they had was a clear... Cocktail, clear martini. And I think that's because we're going to have a garnish and you won't be able to see the garnish if you use a dark chocolate style liqueur. So, clear, clear and clear. Plus it plays tricks on your brain because you think, when you see the brown, you think chocolate. Why are you looking like you don't know what's going on? Are you afraid of what this cocktail is gonna taste like? No, you wrote C-O-C-O-A. And yeah. in the bottle, it's C A C A O. I know they re- they they're both. I that's that is how it was written. But okay, you could find I have other ones C O C O A right here. <sighs> okay. If somebody can explain it, please do. But you know what? Screw it. I'll use this one because <laughs> it's spelled right. Oh, things are falling because it's spelled right. Hmm. It's all gone. And we're gonna garnish it. With some frozen raspberries. <laughs> you forgot what they were called. Whoa! Whoa! Not anymore. Not anymore. So I was leaving them in here because it's hot here, so I didn't want to have them melt. That hot. Huh? It's their first drink. I know. That's why I'm, I did it first. Shaken, not stirred. Although there's really no good reason why. You know what? You're going to go against the grain. I'm going to stir this cocktail because there's nothing that, there's no juices in here. There's no need for me to take a core spirit and a liqueur schnapps, if you will. And I won't. Okay. And what it should do, actually, is it's going to make the garnish even better looking because you're going to see the nice clarity in the drink rather than the, the cloudiness, which will subside, but there's, there's no need. It's needless. Pointless. So while I'm working this, awesome comments last week from having Doug on the show. People found them to be quite hilarious. He is hilarious. He, yeah, there's there is that combination when you have another person, and especially when it's different. People are like, whoa, that's different. It's cool. Um, yeah, but that is basically like every conversation we have. That entire week was pretty much like whenever we're having a party. So it's just we were being normal. Which most people thought, of course, we were drunk. We well, towards the end, Doug started to look like he was drunk. There's no His way. His eyes were kind of low. Yeah, but that, there's no way, because we went over to have another party well, yeah, I know. at my father's house, and he had at least five beers, three scotches. I'm interested to know if uh, your brother's girlfriend actually got out of bed then <laughs> next yep. morning. She had, what, well, we had a, a scorpion bowl, who basically her and my father shared, and I made yeah. a bowl, and they were using a ladle, so they had multiple cups. <laughs> And I don't, Doug was, he had, oh, plus he had some other cocktails, plus the Mai Tai was made. It was and very Doug strong. Doug pretty much always drank a beer and a scotch together. Yeah, beer with scotch chaser. Some craziness. But I don't, so I don't think we were really drunk. We are just normal. Which may be sad. <laughs> it's quite sad. The problem with this method is it takes a while. Well, that's why they say shake. But you want it to be early. There now is, you pay. I'm telling you, there's a definite difference in pre- presentation when you do it this way. So sometimes things just take don't a while. Don't stop. Keep going. You don't think you think the ice just stops moving when it's it's there? Yes. I could feel it already getting better. There. Where did my strainer go? I was playing with it. Oh. There it is. Oh, yeah. And I will get the stuff I'm going to send to people out to people 
I just haven't done that yet. I'll ask Hope people you for. Want those as Christmas presents. If you want it for Christmas presents, you should have known better. Yeah, <laughs> and I wasn't here. I, I had a, a trip to Germany, which I rarely didn't know about until the last minute. So they still float. That's weird. So I was in Germany, making it impossible to ship anything last week. So they float. That's weird. I was kind of hoping they'd go someplace in between. You think three's good? So there you go. You could stack more on there. I, I, I froze a couple more just to chew on them and see what they taste like. That's weird. Yeah, they they float right on top. Um, they'll probably eventually sink, but I think you should probably be finished to drink before then. So that is the, cho <laughs> yeah, the chocolate raspberry martini. <sighs> smells like ra <laughs> smells like raspberry with hints of chocolate, not not overpowering. Mm. Ooh, very tasty. Two well-placed flavors together. You have these in that, like a, if you get like those either cream cheese, like what do they call those things? Not cream cheese. Uh, cheesecake. It kind of reminds me of a, like a cheesecake that you might get at like the Cheesecake Factory or I don't know, wherever your places you normally get cheesecake are that would have like a, a little chocolate on the top with some raspberries and the cheesecake that like the, the thickness, it has a little thickness to it. It's delicate. The taste keeps lasting. So you get that chocolate raspberry taste combined together very well and it just continues on and on. So it's a very good, I would say after dinner drink, but I think it's, it's sweet. I guess it depends on who you are. I thought the drinks last week that were sweet were just good, and my brother and his girlfriend thought they were like they, they couldn't even they couldn't even drink them. It was just the super sweet and it's a complete turn off. So if you're not into those style of drinks, still might not be for you because I don't taste any alcohol in here, which means I'm thinking it's pretty sweet. But I like it. I say drink it when you feel like you should be drinking it, unless it's in the morning. Very deep. It's. It's a deep. So there you go. Chocolate raspberry martini. EverydayDrinkers.tv. We're leading our way to Christmas this week. And we're teaching you how to drink. Christmas is over there. We're just heading there. I'll get closer to it next time. <laughs> oh, okay. So we're going to shift the camera. Yeah, until it's against the wall and you just see blue. Great Christmas. Merry. <laughs>